We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas Merry to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it is that time. There is lots of giving and receiving going on. It's Christmas. And often what's going on in the background of the giving and the receiving is some sense of I'm not enough in what I give, and the other person wasn't enough in what they gave, <laughs> right? How many of you have ever gotten a gift that you're like, oh, God, that? So one of the things that we want to give all of you is to focus in on the intent behind the gift. Yes, whether you're receiving or giving. So, for example, if you're on the receiving end of a gift and you didn't get quite that thing you wanted or you you know you unwrap the present and you think it was going to be this hundred dollar fancy thing and inside is a five dollar thing from the dollar store and you feel this mm. focus on what was the intent that the giver wanted to give you yeah it's a little bit like you know when a little kid makes you a mud pie you know to <laughs> receive it with such thank you so much for this this lovely gift. Right. Or if you get this pair of home, the, the home knitted sweater that might not fall completely into your taste, when you open it up, still don't let your first remark be, oh, that's not my color. I really don't. I don't wear that kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, let your first remark maybe be, thank you so much for having made this and taken the time to do this for me. Know that in every gift, there is love. There is love in that gift. And the same is true for giving. A lot of times we can stress ourselves like, oh God, what's the, what's the present we can give that is going to be enough? I know I do that sometimes. And it's important for me to remember that really it's the love that makes the biggest impact. For Christian's family, for her, Christian's mom when we were back in Denmark this summer, you know, one of the best presents we gave her is we made a list of 63 things we love about her. So we just made a long list, one, two, three, four, five, through 63, and then we had all the kids and grandkids sign it. And, you know, that's what we did for her 63rd birthday, and that impacted her more than all the stuff she got. So just to say that there's all kinds of ways to express our love. Write a poem, write a song, you know, do a little... This is something else we've done with our family. We made up a little play, and we acted it out for the family. Just focus in on giving and receiving love behind the gifts. Yes. And have a happy, love-filled holiday. We are very blessed and grateful for getting to give to you all of these little videos all year. And it's our intention to continue doing that in the next year. Yes. Merry Christmas yeah. and Happy New happy Year to you. Happy holidays. Blessings. Blessings.